so how can we develop trust i'm going to give you one practical way you can develop trust and i have said this many many times to different audiences and it has made sense with all of them right so can i ask you a personal question now that we are friends is it okay can i ask a personal question yes okay how many of you are married all right did you ask your wife or if you are the wife did your husband ask you to marry them to marry him on the first day how many of you asked can you marry me on the first day the first time you met for coffee or something man in the blue right no one has experience after how many dates did you actually propose would you get married to someone without trust tough one no probably shouldn't no right so you shouldn't get married without trust right so what i'm trying to tell you is relationships develop over time isn't it it's not an immediate thing in order to develop trust you also need to first develop the what did i just say the r relationship we need to develop the relationship and this takes time can we agree on that developing a relationship takes time you can't bring us about in today we have to a room and say look i'm your boss trust me if your boss says that how would we react you want to run away right boss is saying trust me without me having done anything or him having done anything how can i trust him yeah it takes time and time is something in your jobs you don't have too much of right anyone here has extra time you get up in the morning and think my gosh i have 2 hours free today what should i do <laughs> sapat wow awesome then he can do this anyone else has extra time extra time no no one else so how do we spend this time developing trust how many team members for you under you 2 8 anyone more than 8 how many 12 20 12 shall we say 12 anyone much more than 12 can't be direct reports never any direct direct reports direct direct report into 18 that's also too much 15 15 too much imaginate too much so so the the research says the research says the ideal span of control is how much 8 to 12 8 to 12 If you have less than eight, that management layer is probably not required. <laughs> Remember, managers not adding value. Less than eight, eight to twelve. Research says eight to twelve is the ideal span of control. About the 12. ideal span of control is eight to twelve. <laughs> More than twelve becomes a little impractical to manage. Less than eight, question: Do you need? Yeah. Or can we add on another four people under you or something like that? Right? Yeah. Can we join you to another team? Or? Hey, these are these are questions. Yeah. So then you wonder: Do you need a general manager? Exactly. Do so. You don't need the CEO. You don't need the general manager. Get rid of the general manager. Have the eight functional manager report to see you. Yes. Yeah, so then he's the owner of the company, and he wants to have his freedom, and he wants to pay somebody else's salary. That's all right. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. So if it is, if it is in uh, in Akhilas' case, eighteen. Shall we take twelve? I'll just talk about twelve. All right. How often can you meet your twelve people? for a one a uh, good one on one to build a relationship how often can you meet each of your 12 people can you do it once a month would meeting them once a month be good a good one hour ideal how many of you think that's good if i can meet my team once a month one hour each it's good 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 how many of us do it if you do it once a month then you have to think can i make it once in two weeks because the more contact time the better so now i'm going to give you like a magic solution how you can do this and not spend even a minute extra of your time wouldn't that be marvelous that's the clue meet over lunch very easy you have to eat that person has to eat correct so if it's 12 people i tell them in advance yusuf monday let's have lunch together i say jayanat because tuesday i want to myself <laughs> wednesday jayanat let's have lunch together i say rangika friday let's have lunch together charit Next Friday, you see how it goes round. So if it's twelve people every week, I cover three. One month, I cover twelve. Normally, when do we have a one-on-one -on -one chat like this? Once or twice a year at the so-called performance appraisal. Are you understanding? That's a tough one, right? In performance appraisal, you are not buying any kind of. Now here, you are not having a. At lunch, you don't take your reports and go and show. Yeah, you were absent. You came at this time on this day. Nah, nah, nah. No reports. No paper. Nothing. Just lunch. and it's not all about work you are having a casual conversation right you don't go on a date with your girlfriend or boyfriend and say now show me your financial statements yeah no it's it's a casual conversation right you don't plan no when you go on a date are you planning i i will we meet for dinner at 8:30 8:30 to 8:45 we'll talk about this topic 8:45 sharp balan watch right next topic now mukha next topic hai right then film mein karata karmo right right you you just have a casual conversation same thing right So there's no pressure on either side. Why are you doing this? 
you are trying to develop the what? The relationship. And by developing the relationship, you are trying to develop the what? Trust. Making sense to you? Spending the time, develop the relationship, develop the relationship, develop the trust. Right?